What's going on? Ah, I cannot wait to see our villa surprise. And if you watched our last vlog, Sri Lanka is full of surprises. In fact, when it comes to musties, this teardrop island has eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And before heading to our villa surprise, we're about to check out two more. Bye bye. Just checked in to Hotel Sigiri, yeah, for a one night stay though. But one of the perks of staying at this hotel is that you're super close to the Sigiri, aka the Lion Rock, which we're going to hike up early tomorrow morning. We are here. That's what we're climbing tomorrow, right there. But first, we're about to see the other UNESCO site. Bob Marley Tuk Tuk right here, baby. Fun fact about Dad Duty here is that he likes, um, no, he loves Bob Marley. Loves. No woman, no cry. I like Bob yeah, you, Marley music. Yes, you like Bob Marley music? No woman, no cry. All right. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's about 700 feet, guys. Good job. Look up to the view. Look Yay. at the view. Look at that view. So we made it here at the Dambula Cave Temple. So this is the first cave. Whoa. It is the largest and best preserved rock cave temple in Sri Lanka with a height of 600 feet and included five caves and 157 statues of Buddha, all dating back to the first century BC. so beautiful. Now I know why it's a World Heritage Site. And by the way, if you're wondering why we're sweating, it's because it's 95 degrees and we climb 700 feet of stairs. So don't blame us. Yeah, this is the weather and the stairs. You should have put an elevator here, like. <laughs> hey, buddy. So that wraps up the cave temple. And now we're going to be heading back to the hotel to get some good rest before a big hike. This was just a warm up because tomorrow we're gonna climb something really big. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is time to rock. Get it? Time to oh. rock because we're climbing Lion Rock. It's a rock? Yeah. That was good. That was horrible. What? Jeez. So by the way guys, not only is this place UNESCO, it is also referred to by the locals as the 8th wonder of the world. Yeah. Now let's go find out why. Okay, so we've already taken 2,513 steps and we're not even there yet. But we're about to take a breakfast break okay what's for breakfast so we have a sandwich with chicken and Ooh, some that looks good and some yeah. sweets like a croissant you guys ready yeah. i feel bad for all these travel guys who want our business because they don't know we already have a travel guide Daddy. yeah yeah that's Daddy. right fact number one this ancient fortress rock was actually built by a king about 1500 years ago um, i have a question travel guide travel yes 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 ma'am yes ma'am um, how many are there going up? This is about 200 meters high and it takes about 1200 steps to reach the Whoa, top. Travel guys, I do have a question. Yes. Um, why is it called Lion Rock? It's called Lion Rock because the entrance of this place is built like an enormous lion. Where is the lion? I don't know. And where is the entrance? Sorry guys, I think I'm lost.
Welcome to Lion Rock. This is pretty high. You know, 1200 steps doesn't seem high, but when you're up like this, it's very high. I feel like I'm rock climbing right now. The trek from the top is quite challenging, but the views are quite worth it. What's up with the accent on Campo? National Geographic's baby. Then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm happy. I'm not gonna wake up. No, not yet. Oh, yeah. You deserve that coconut, baby. Okay, we made it back to our hotel. Thank you very much. We are back at the hotel. I am tired. We have been here for 24 hours, but it's all good because we're about to see our villa surprise. Here we are, guys. All right, guys, we just made it back to Candy. We are staying at the Victoria Golf and Country Club. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Uh, yes. Relaxation for one week. Thank you so much. Thank you. What? What's going on? Oh okay. I'm having a heart attack. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this infinity pool! So what do you think, huh? Okay, this bill surprise might be the top of all surprises. I gotta show you around this place because it is yeah, mind-blowing, beautiful, like insanely beautiful. Let's definitely show them around. Here is our infinity pool. Look at this! It has a perfect reflection of a palm tree. I like this day bed. It's ginormous. Look at that. Towels, blankets, tons of pillows. Wow. Heaven. Okay, moving on. This little living room area. I love this. You can like work here, right? Like yeah. a little workstation. This mountain is four levels, so you got the golf course, then you got level two, level three, and level four. And we're at the top of this mountain, overlooking Victoria Lake. It is so picturesque. This is just amazing. Okay, look at this dining table. They have a little fireplace, very cozy, and it's all covered in glass. This is so beautiful. I know, look at this. <laughs> now let's go check out our bedrooms. I feel like we're at a spa. Do <laughs> you guys hear that? It's so tranquil. It's like very Whoa. relaxing and serene here. How is it you got here? It has five bedrooms, two bedrooms for the staff, three bedrooms for guests, and we're occupying two bedrooms downstairs. <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is the longest couch ever. Oh, and by the way, you guys, my favorite part about this stay is that it comes with staff. And one of them is a cook, and we'll get to know them over these next seven days. This Ooh. is the kids' bedroom. I like this view right here. I love that it connects to ours. Yep, let's show them ours. So cute. We have a yard. Oh my god. It's just, it was just raining, so they took out the day bed right there. All right, my favorite part, all the way down. I've never had this in the villa. Never leaving Sri Lanka. This is <laughs> this crazy. Is this looks like a hotel right now. I know. It's awesome. Oh, not sorry to getting a massage. <laughs> that wraps up our villa surprise tour. Now it's time to go take a dip in the pool while the boys work on part two of the Sri Lanka vlog. Check, check, my check. Boo. Whoa. Meet my new editing partner, baby. Future YouTuber right here. So Knox has been helping me with the last few vlogs and he's actually a really fast learner. I get it from my dad. My dad. 
He said it. I didn't make him say it. So Knox, what's the biggest challenge of creating these vlogs? Making sure we have enough footage. It's biggest challenge. Anything else? Yes, we need to convince everybody to get footage. Problem of staying in a nice villa is that no one wants to go out. Including me. Big problem. So Kamari is not only the manager of the house, she is also the cook of the house. And I cannot wait to taste your food. Also, the other staff member is your husband. This is Poovy. Hi Poovy. Hi. He is responsible for the upkeep of the house. So Kamari, how did you learn how to cook? I worked for eight years in Malaysia. Chinese, oh. yeah. So she worked in Malaysia for a Chinese restaurant, right? Yeah. So not only are we getting some Sri Lankan dishes here, but we're getting a little Chinese flair along with it. homemade food every single day for the next seven days. Yay! We have some red rice, curry chicken, which is amazing. More spicy stuff with vegetables, and then we have some ginger soda. Sri Lanka! Yes. I love Sri Lankan curry. And by the way, Sri Lanka is known as the land of spices. And before coming here, we actually stopped by a spice garden. Check out the footage. Cloves, cinnamon, yeah, it smells aromatic. Pudding, Oh, you're making me. It's like rice pudding. Oh, that smells so good. What is this? Mama prepare in the home curry? No. No, no. Do not do that. You gotta teach her. I'm Mexican. Alright guys, so that was the spice garden and we were supposed to go to the tea plantation today but no one wants to leave the villa because they're too relaxed. So in order to create some content, I've gathered up a few questions to ask the family. Hello. Who's the messiest person in our family? Easy, Nia. I agree. Hey, I heard that. This is the easiest question of all, Nia. Your fans want to know, do you have a girlfriend? No comment, I have no comment. Does Knox have a girlfriend? One time we went to this hotel, he had two crushes, that was like... I wanted to throw up. You're in your romance age now? You in your 20s? No. You're seven. No. If you could only have one superpower, what would it be? To read people's minds. To be super, super duper fast. It's the Filipino version of Flash. His name would be Flash Gordon. <laughs> In the last three years, how many countries have we been to? 21. 16. 24. The right answer is 20. Would you rather lose all your money or lose all your travel videos? Oh, that's such a good question. Money? <laughs> okay, so what is the best airport for a layover? Singapore. Singapore. Singapore Jewel. What is your best travel tip? Bring extra underwear with you because you might poop your pants. Does Nia have a boyfriend? Yes, yeah, she did before in first grade. Have you ever had a crush? That is disgusting. I know you might have like, oh my god, look at Jacob, he's so cute. I do not want to be that girl. That who are you? Think about in life. Think. Don't be dumb. Don't follow boys. Think. Be smart, girls. Be smart. <laughs> wow. One time, this boy in school, during art class, he told me, I have a crush on you. And I was like, you're kidding me. What movie can you watch over and over again? Crazy Rich Asians. Is that why you're in an Asian? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she likes watching me over and over. Are you afraid of ghosts? I'm not scared of ghosts. Only my brother is because he's a scaredy cat. He doesn't even go on roller coasters. Disrespect life. Hm. That's why you never follow a boy around. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah too. I'm scared to go on a roller coaster. Brush it off. You're 18. Mama, mama. I got a shot, mama. I got a scratch, mama. Boys are so dramatic. Like girls, they pop their elbow out, put it back together. Mm -mm. Boys are like, hey, mama, I got it in you. I pulled it out. It's waiting. <laughs> Too much of combo. Anyways, one of the most asked questions that we get is, where are we heading to next? We were planning to go to the Maldives since it's so close to here. But we had a last minute change of plan. One of the countries that we've been wanting to go to just opened up its borders. So we booked our flights there instead. And one of the coolest part is we have a six hour layover at the Singapore airport. <laughs> My favorite. So we're not going to tell you the final destination, but we will give you this hint. Good morning. 
morning. Who is the tallest member in your family? <laughs> Me. Be truthful. Okay, I'll be truthful, Mama. <laughs> what the heck? Mom. What? The heck? what? <laughs> lies, I tell you, lies.